All right, we're gonna talk about our goals for 2023. It's YouTube goals, collecting goals, all the goals. Everything is stuck to our camera yeah. and our mic boom stand, and I can't see any of it because I don't have my glasses well, I'm gonna on. start it off. You're gonna start it off. So first thing Jen has on her nice little list is uh, channel growth goals. I know more often than not when uh, gamers put out their goals, on YouTube for 2023 as far as channel growth, it's typically X amount of subscribers. You have a number, you're like, yeah. that would be great. And maybe this keeps us from growing in subscribers by not having that goal, but that's not generally our focus. We've started off like everybody starts off because you have a goal. You need yes. a thousand. You're like, okay, well, maybe next year I can double it. There would be 2,000 and 4,000. Yeah. Learn. And like, I think at this point now that we're, not, we're, we're past that. Well, we got really humbled. Uh, uh, one year yeah. we were growing really, really great, and then all of a sudden it just dropped. <laughs> it's like and a, it was like a come to Jesus moment. That was bothering you more than it was bothering me. Well, because I put the effort you into the editing, the so in. it feels yeah. like it's a reflection of the your art. Exactly. Yeah. I just I I gotta not take that personally because yeah. it's not a personal thing. But I think especially since then you focused way more on watching other people's content yes. and then talking to those YouTubers. Yes. I cannot drive that point home enough how important it is if you follow somebody on YouTube that you need to be watching and commenting, it is important, especially for smaller channels. It, it could be the one comment they get on that video that keeps them going. That, exactly, you know? exactly. So I try really hard to watch and leave meaningful comments based on what I'm seeing and I'm not skipping through videos, I'm watching the videos, I'm giving you the watch time because I Jen, think it's important. If it's a meaningful comment, that's, that's Jen. <laughs> if it's a cheers. It's like I'm sending you a quick text with some uh, cheers and beer glasses right after it. It's like yeah. your dad sent you a quick text. Yeah. I hate I hate, I hate phone, hate all that crap there. Also, yes. I like to sit there and watch YouTube on the TV, to be honest with you. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Game room and game time goals. Yes. So 2023, I'm so happy it's here. Although 2022 didn't treat us bad. But 2023 is the year that I'm planning to go down to one job. Ooh. I'm very excited. It means I'm going to have more time to game. But what it really means is that we can start building that retro room and yeah. really have it just be a retro we, room. We call it a retro room. It's kind of hot pot. Hot, yeah, yeah, there's hot, all, hot. It was my workout slash toy room yeah. before. And it's all my toys, all my retro toys. And just, they're all up on the shelves. But since we started adding some like TVs and uh, some some older consoles, it, it's going to be more of a retro style gaming room with a lot of toys and memorabilia and like, kind of, wrestling magazines and comic books and stuff like that. I kind of want to do um, possibly a mural of some point. You want to get down to one job so you can work more? Mm -hmm. But it would be <laughs> maybe even like a Super Mario 3 mural on the back, but I think I want to cut out those pictures pixel characters on plywood, like really nice finished plywood, paint those so that they pop off the wall okay. a little bit and then paint the background in the background so you have foreground and background. Kind of thinking that might be cool, but I don't know how much time I have. So I'd be I'm... happy if we can just get the workout equipment out of there, upstairs, yes. and then that would be dedicated I already have space. a big TV for upstairs for our workout room. More than anything, staying healthy is really important for Yes, because I'm getting old. So I gotta stay active, yes. but then um, I also look at mental health and I find gaming is a big key to my mental health. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Duh. So we did, we skipped over one. We have plans to get a security yeah. system, like security cameras in the game room. It serves two purposes. Yeah. Um, first purpose is obviously to security. security. <laughs> the second purpose is that we want to be able to capture some of that video. Authentic the, moment. Where we're playing games like Cuphead. Oh fuck. Overcooked. Oh my god. Where we're like raging and you know there's three of us. We're all screaming. The four laughter of us. is contagious, and so I think you guys would love. To goal be there is with us. we'll have. One camera pointing at us, the other camera pointing at towards the TV, security footage style. Well, I think we're going Google Nest. We're probably going to do a video on it just to show you guys the picture quality and the audio quality, but it seems like the best bang for your buck. And it won't be the key points to videos, but it'll be pieces that we can add in. Yeah. For extra be content yeah. there, stuff. Yeah. Another... It'll be really cool. And then if we beat a game that's like a goal game, you'll see that you'll it'll happen see in that real reaction, time, yeah. right? So I wish I had. I got my first time I beat uh, Mike Tyson's I punch know. out there. I actually tried to record it. I hit record, went and fought him, went back to my tablet, and then fucking ran out of space. Oh, <laughs> no. So I missed it. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. 
My personal goals for 2023 is to, like I said to you, I want to play more RPGs. I've been really into playing, I really enjoyed last year playing PS1 RPGs and Super Nintendo, and I want to do more of that, and I'd yeah. like to dabble a couple more consoles. There's actually a couple of modern RPGs, a Chained Echo and stuff like that, if yeah. I ever get the modern the big TV back. My first two games this year were played on the CRT and they were retro games, I so know. I'm just saying. And that's the end of the retro games for No, her. it's not! But for me, I'm not gonna look at how many games I beat as a goal because I know playing that style of game Oh yeah, you gotta go I'm, hours. I, I'm gonna be happier with more hours. There's also a, a series that I haven't touched yet that I think I wanna get into is the Uncharted series. Yay! My plan is, after an RPG, I like to have like a palate cleanser, get into mm -hmm. something that's a little bit shorter, different style of game, and then maybe I'll get back. Don't do quit one. after the first one. Is that bad? It's not. It's <laughs> just, a, it, compared to the rest of them, it's a little bit rougher. No, it would It's be. the first one. Okay. I've so, played them all, and I love them. And his personal goals for... I can't fucking read that far. Well, you want me to read it for you? It says, have fun. Push outside <laughs> horror boundaries. That's scary. What is that word? Run the gauntlet of God of War. Oh, it was like gauntlet. G-O-W. God like, of War. Okay. Uh, right? Um, I've played the first two. I kind of want to run the gauntlet of all the God of Wars this year. I don't know that if that's overextending myself. Overextending yourself. Uh, and the I'll... reason why is because she hasn't played either one of them, the newer ones. Yes. Which are <laughs> up there. I know. In time, I know. So. I know. God of War 3 is going to happen very soon. I, I, so many people praise it. I have to play it. And then I want to do more reviews. I don't know if I'm going to do as many scripted reviews because that just takes up a lot yeah. more time. But I love them. So... Collecting goals, Jen. Yeah. So what you have here is uh, not to put anything in we don't, wanna... don't intend. Is that intend? Yeah. <laughs> okay, intend. Okay, our I'm eyes playing. are both good. I just don't want to continue adding anything into the collection. We never. We're like, no space. maybe I might play that. Well, then maybe we need to wait. <clears throat> Kudos to anybody that wants to do that. Oh, it boots. has to be what you want. And if that's what you want, go get it. I love love the hunt. Love the hunt. Do whatever makes you happy as far yeah. as your collecting goals go. And we, we're very lucky that we have the same goals. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so. Brainwashed. Yeah. What else do we have there? So you have a uh, siege. Our goal is to go to siege. No, it's happening. It's happening. It's not a goal. And won't we'll stop buying games. We're not going to be able to afford to go to siege. Oh, I bought like three games and it cost me nothing compared to the movies <laughs> yeah. you got. But don't shut up. I don't shut up. I don't intend to. Yeah, That's a goal. Because right. we're going to go siege for the main purpose to meet all our YouTube friends. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, meet more people with common interests. And then I'm going there with the intent to buy something grail worthy. One each. What I said to her is if you could only pick one, if you could buy one thing at yes. Siege, what would it be? I gotta go Rule of Rose, even though I've had some people say it's not the greatest game, but then I've heard other people say it's amazing. Fucking insane that I want to spend that much money on one goddamn game. I know it is. I shy away from playing emulation unless it's a really expensive game that I know I really, yeah. really want to play. Yeah, yeah. But I lose a little bit of connection Ooh. when I play a game on an emulator versus having that physical game in my hand and play it for the first time is. and you're like, really want to love the game. I think it's because we're such physical collectors <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's sickness. a sickness. <laughs> sickness. <laughs> yeah. So yours is Rule of Rose. Y yeah. Mine, I know I won't get complete in box copy. With, you want some expensive cardboard. I want some expensive cardboard. <laughs> I would really like to have a really nice condition box copy of Chrono Trigger. If it comes with the, the internals, the manual stuff, yeah. great. If not, I will piece it together. That's one of my favorite games now. So now that those sort of goals have been covered, we do have some games that we have broken up into two lists. Not day one purchases and day one purchases. There are some games and one system ish that can't get a day one. A PSVR right. 2. Stupid expensive. It's here. over $800 Canadian. I think Sony is shooting themselves in the foot with that being so expensive. Right? Unless they are coming out with an absolute killer library of games that people have to play. That's, that's money on shelves that people aren't going to. You're not gonna recoup that if it's sitting on a shelf with that much money. Also, a big fuck you to the gamers by not making things backwards compatible? From my understanding, from what I've seen, I was watching a YouTube video and I guess a lot of the original you know, PS4 VR library is not gonna be compatible. 
I don't know 100% for sure if that's just rumor or yeah, what, I but I know, guess what it is, is a lot of those games, the frame rate issues are pretty pretty bad, yeah. choppy and all that. And I don't know. I don't understand why it wouldn't be if a, it's the headset's still plugged into the PS5, and almost the entire library of PS4 games are playable on the PS5, so I don't understand why the VR games wouldn't be. It makes yeah. no sense to me. I would love to get Switchback, uh, Dark Pictures Anthology, and Call of the Mountain Horizon. Those are games that you want to get but aren't uh, day one? If, you if wait. I had a PSVR 2, those would be day one purchases, but I don't. Switchback is VR, oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's Dark Pictures Anthology, this next game. I love the Dark Pictures games, yeah. but you have like one game on your list. Spider-Man 2, the only yeah. reason I'm not buying it day one is because there's gonna be a shit ton of copies and it'll make a good gift for my mother-in-law to buy it yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, what do I get I played Spider-Man the first one on Christmas. I played Miles Morales. The next Christmas. Yeah, you know? so it just feels it's, like a Christmas it's game. It's a Christmas game for me now. It's like a tradition. And Diablo 4 as... Diablo 4, it's... I am leaning towards we may end up grabbing it day I one. I am too. But, but I have to see it. I have to see what's going on. That's contingent on all these games actually coming out in 2023. Yeah. There was a list between uh, January and July that had more of a concrete date and then there was everything in like the third and fourth quarter that were like wa wishy-washy yeah they didn't know for sure yeah could get delayed of kind of what about yeah. the the day before what is that about oh fuck. you're you're not getting that because it's not it's the, an mmo it's not the style of game that you wanted right no i had such high hopes i mentioned this you, last you year thought this was going to be your days gone i thought this was going to be my days gone meets the last of us Alright, so after doing a little bit more digging, I have found out that the day before will be available in a single player mode, but because it was built as an MMO, I'm not really sure what that looks like. I'll play Couch Co op. I would love that to be a Couch Co op game. Oh, I fast Couch Co op, I'm all over that. awesome! Me, you, and Dennis playing that game? Holy shit! But I don't, and nothing against online gamers, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to fall in and out and. Like, have to worry about you being a little you don't goblin. Wanna, and you don't want to feel like you're playing with people that are really good. And yes, and I'm just like... caliber. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, we're dragging her along for this. Yeah. Anyways, I just... Yeah. So, day one purchases. We do have a few of them here on the list. Yeah. You see, you wrote some down, but I, I made oh. my own... <laughs> this is top, top of the line. Yeah. This is real good Corrigan? This is like... Double flute? I grab. I grab. It's not a double flute. I don't fucking know what kind this of flute. I just know flute. This was the only. This was sitting on the table. Single and I was flute? like, I have a list on the whiteboard upstairs that are all games I want to grab physically. So I went out and I looked, and this happened to be on the table, and I saw a sharpie. Ah, brrr, so I come downstairs. Yeah, for so, real. well, let's go through your side first. You guys can almost guess. Yeah, guess right now. Take your take your best guess. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm proud of some of you that you guessed that third one. Okay. Resident Evil 4. Duh. Remake. Remake. Silent Hill 2. Remake. Don't know if, for sure if it's coming out this year. It's I, not a for sure, but I would it's been towards. heavily rumored that it's supposed to. They yeah. said it was. They'll probably delay it. And then the other one is Slitterhead. Slitterhead. Slitter? Slitterhead. Slitterhead. Oh, man. Th those are three. I, if I looked harder, I could probably find more, but... We did this, yeah, real quick. Like yeah. me, I had stuff already written on the list, and then you told me a couple of them. Yeah. So here's your chance to guess mine. Yes. Yes, 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 all RPG, yeah. Am I wrong? They're pretty close. They already seen this one here, but. Yeah. You don't think you have these ones on there? I have Chained so, Echoes on there. Chained Echoes, it's already out on Game Pass. I have it on Game Pass. Like I said, if I can yeah. ever get the damn TV away from somebody there, I'm going to play it this year. Uh, looks really good. I'm trying not to look at too much because I don't want to ruin it for myself. Yeah. But the physical copy is coming out, I think, in the summer. Okay. Now, I hope it's not just going to be a big box. You know, yes. I, I, yeah. I just want the game. And uh, I also have, you don't have it on here, Yuden Chronicles 100 Heroes. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's coming out physical this year. Sea of Stars. It'll be on Game Pass for sure. Sea of Stars looks really good. So, and I don't know if that's coming out for sure this year or not. I think it is. And then there's a couple that I have to really. You know, look at, see uh, mm -hmm. if it's because it, you just see a little teaser and you're like, wow, that looks pretty good. But I have Grand Blue Fantasy and Trinity Trigger. Yeah. They both 
interest me. Tales of Symphonia Remastered. Yep. That's that's day one, I think, because I don't know if... They'll make enough of them? Well, yeah. I, I assume they will. Yeah. But I don't want to risk it. And I don't have the original. I cannot find it. Can't I can't get it. Yeah. Can't get it around town. I want it. Maybe you can get it at Siege. Maybe. Octopath Traveler 2 is uh, definitely on that list because I... I feel like there probably will be enough copies that I don't have to get it day one. Yeah. But you never know. Exactly. Um, Suicoden uh, 1 and 2 HD Remake. Remaster? My, that's probably a day one. I don't know if there's going to be a huge high demand on that. I feel like there will be a high demand, but I don't know how many copies they'll make of it. There's also an Ease game. I don't know if it's coming out this year or not. but. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's our goals. It's a... Uh... You know, pretty relaxed goals, but it's stuff we look forward to for 2023. I hope you guys have some goals for 2023. I've seen a few videos come out. We recorded, what, three videos this morning? Yeah. Dennis is coming over. Yeah. It's another we one or have, two right there. That needs to be a goal. We need to have Dennis in more fucking videos this yeah. year. We, it's been a scheduling issue there, having yes. Dennis, because uh, he was working nights, and I'm working, You, me and you are both working days. We're gonna try to get him on a Turtles video. One of my big goals that I achieved for 2022 was to beat TMNT on the NES, and I never got a chance to talk about it because no. somebody took six weeks off of YouTube right in that span, and I never got to talk about it. Oh. Fuck up my beard, what are you doing? Oh, okay. It's goal 2023, anyway, give good I don't beard. even know if these cameras are still running. Let's hope so. They right. didn't make a click sound. All right, guys. So right at the end, Scott mentioned we might run out of time, and yeah. then the camera shut off, so uh, he was right. <laughs> this is the only time a woman has ever admitted on camera her husband was right. And now we're going to delete this immediately. You know what you didn't catch on camera? You're spanking. Give me one later. <laughs> Off camera. Game on!